Hello, my name is Laura, a first-year GEP vet student at the University of Edinburgh. I know some people were curious about how I got into vet school. For this video, I will do a brief introduction about myself and I will share my journey towards getting into vet school. I hope you enjoy this video and please comment down below if you have any questions. I also have a vet school Instagram account if you would like to send me private messages about vet school application. A little background about myself. I was born in Beijing, China. My family moved to Toronto when I was 15 years old. I started my high school in Toronto. I spent my first year university at the University of Toronto Mississauga. At that time, I had no clear goals. I wanted to do either forensic science or animal science as I was interested in both. At the end of my first semester of my first year university, I had made up my mind to pursue veterinary medicine, so I transferred to University of Guelph, majoring in zoology. Here is a simplified version of my application timeline. Today, I'm only going to give you a brief introduction, and I will make more videos later on my course selection, interview preparation, and animal experience. I started my first volunteer position at a small animal clinic in Toronto during my Christmas break in second year. I remembered that I called at least 15 vet clinics and I eventually got that one volunteer position. In the summer before my third year university, I found a volunteer position at the Speedville Pet Hospital in Guelph. I literally called all vet clinics in Guelph and emailed my resume and I eventually found that one clinic that needed volunteers at a time. In late summer of the same year, I found another volunteer position in a small animal clinic in Rockwood. But because it was too far away from Guelph, I found another clinic somewhere closer to Guelph to get my second reference for vet school. At the first semester of my fourth year undergrad, I applied to the Ontario Veterinarian College with an average of 88.6. For OVC application, they look at your marks for eight prerequisite courses and classes in your two full-time semesters. I got a multiple mini interview invitation, but I got rejected after that. I did poorly on the interview because I didn't know how to prepare for it, my answer didn't have a structure, and I was rambling too much in front of the interviewers. I decided to do a fifth year to improve my grade so that I can be more competitive for my second application. However, I had the same grade after my fifth year and the interview format changed to Casper because of COVID. So I have to start practicing new interview format two weeks before my Casper test. Then I got rejected the second time. After I graduated from the university, I started working at the clinic that I volunteered at. I gained so much good experience in animal handling and my communication skills improved tremendously. After two years of working in the clinic, I was way more confident and I think it prepared me very well for vet school. In 2021, I started thinking about applying abroad to give myself more options. I've always wanted to go to RVC or Edinburgh Vet College because of their reputation and the quality of their education. So I started my VAMCAS application in May, submitted my application two days before it was due, got an interview from RVC in December, got an interview from Edinburgh in early February, then got accepted to RVC for the four-year program in late January, and I got accepted to Edinburgh Vet School in early March for the graduate entry program. However, I got rejected from OVC for the third time in June, but it was not important for me anymore because I have already decided to go to Edinburgh. Here is a brief summary of my experience. I can't remember the exact hours and I left all my application documents in a USB in Canada. I will make sure to make another video in the future. The interview format for RVC in Edinburgh is MMI. Here are some of the resources that I used for MMI preparation. I will dive more into this in my next video because I have a lot to say about my preparation methods. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this useful. See you next time.